The entire history of growth and change in galaxies is written in this single image of the Hubble Deep Field. What may be Hubble's most profound discovery cannot be seen at all by any means. Something with so much power, it holds the entire universe together. For a number of years, astronomers like Kim Weaver have been surprised by the way galaxies behave. Our observations of things we could see, like galaxies, weren't uh, making a lot of sense to us. For example, how a galaxy rotates. The arms of spiral galaxies seem to move faster than the laws of physics would allow. Astronomers spotted other oddities as well. You can have clusters of galaxies that have hundreds to a thousand galaxies in them. These clusters of galaxies are still bound to each other. The galaxies are still orbiting. After all this time, why are they bound to the cluster? There's something there creating gravity creating the bending of space to hold these galaxies in place and to hold galaxies in their rotation that we're not seeing. Astronomers hypothesize that galaxies are surrounded by a halo of unknown forms of matter. This matter acts like a glue that holds the universe together. They call it dark matter. Though we can't see dark matter, one astronomer has discovered a way to find it. We took the Hubble Space Telescope and over two years slowly pieced together a mosaic of 600 images tiled together a large patch of sky in which we could see about two million faint galaxies. And this was the Hubble Space Telescope Cosmos Survey. It's the largest ever survey taken from space. The survey revealed that stars and galaxies are born from ordinary matter trapped by gravity inside clouds of dark matter. This 3D plot of dark matter clouds, charted by Hubble for the first time in history, shows how dark matter forms the very structure of our universe. Soon after the Big Bang, the gravitational scaffolding of dark matter formed the basis for evolutionary change throughout the cosmos. And we, in fact, owe our entire existence to this scaffolding that set up of dark matter in the early universe. As important as it is to our very existence, astronomers so far have no idea what dark matter is. This table shows us every element in the universe that we commonly experience on a daily basis. All of the physical matter that we can see, touch, taste or feel is on this table. But not dark matter. Thanks to Hubble, astronomers found a way to locate and measure it. What they found is that there is five times more dark matter in the universe than physical matter. But even if we add all the dark matter to all the physical matter that forms stars and planets and people, it turns out that we are still missing about two-thirds of the universe. So, what is the rest of the universe made of? Once again, scientists turn to Hubble for answers. The Hubble telescope is changing our understanding of reality. Since the 1920s, astronomers have known that the universe is expanding. They assumed that gravity would one day slow the expansion down and perhaps even cause the universe to halt. I know the universe is slowing down. The question just is how much? The answer to this question would settle the debate about the age and fate of the universe. And it became a race. There were two teams that didn't much like each other. They were trying to measure 
the rate at which the universe has been expanding at different times in the past and compare it with the rate at which it's expanding now. The way to check comes from Hubble. It finds supernova explosions in remote galaxies and uses the light from the explosion as a yardstick to measure the distance from Earth to the galaxy. But Hubble's findings do not fit the accepted model for the expansion of the universe. The galaxies with supernovae are not just moving away, they're moving at an accelerated rate. Hubble's results convinces astronomers that they must think of the universe in an entirely new way. You toss the ball up, it comes back down or it slows down. What you don't expect is the ball to speed up and speed up and speed up more and more and more. That doesn't happen. But it does happen. According to Hubble's evidence, the universe is expanding more and more quickly. The only explanation is as simple as it is unlikely. Something is causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate, an unseen force called dark energy. Dark energy is another manifestation of a familiar force. So gravity is a familiar force, but we've never seen it act this way before. But the darkest part of this mysterious force is its future. Over time, it will grow in strength. This means that one day, dark energy will become stronger than gravity. Stronger than even the forces which bind atoms together. Every bound thing becomes unbound, including eventually at the most subatomic level. Our universe, it seems, is living on borrowed time. The universe will one day end in a cosmic apocalypse that scientists call the Big Rip. It's what we get for daring to look at something. We're outside the envelope. We, we didn't expect this at all. It is a tremendous change in how we think about the universe. Imagine we know nothing of the sea, and one day we discover the ocean. We find to our surprise that three quarters of the world is covered by the ocean. But we have no clue what is in the ocean or what the ocean does. This is where we are today with dark energy.